On September 8th, the International Day of Solidarity of Journalists, a group of media and civil society representatives visited the graves of late Monitor magazine editor Elmar Hussainov and Azadak newspaper founder Najaf Najafov. Turan News Agency Director Mehman Aliyev spoke about the problems of solidarity among local press outlets. He also expressed his distress that the criminals behind the murder of Elmar Hussainov had not been caught. Journalist Shavala Chobanoglu, human rights defender Arzu Abdullayeva, and others also condemned the government for its failure to apprehend the killers. After the ceremony, a dedicated meeting of the editors' union was held at the East for reporters for the men's safety. The editors produced a statement calling on all media to show solidarity for the sake of freedom of speech, which is deteriorating day by day, which they attributed not only to the increasing authoritarian regime, but also the lack of solidarity among journalists. The group supported imprisoned youth activists Jabar Savalam and Bakhtiar Hajiyev and lawyers Osman Kazimov, Anar Gasimov, Echon Namazov, Khalid Bagirov, who have been persecuted by the authorities for protecting the interests of bloggers, journalists and other public figures. The representative of the Media Rights Institute, Khalid Aghaliyev, noted that during the course of the first half of the year, freedom of speech has not improved, though no journalists were arrested. As for lawsuit, the station remains unchanged since 2005 and currently there are 27 court cases involving journalists and newspaper editors. Pressure and harassment of journalists continues, including kidnappings and beatings. Such measures have been applied to both independent and position journalists, and into such cases have been registered so far this year. The editors discussed the apples of the Gundam Haber newspaper and independent journalist Anna Neftaliyev. In the first case, the press council prompted a tax investigation of the newspaper's accounts, and in the second case, the press council also initiated the lawsuit. The editors expressed their belief that press council has turned into supervisor even though it is meant to serve as a public organization and provide recommendations. Human rights activist Arzu Abdullayeva mentioned the termination of the Committee for Freedom of Expression, which was created following the arrest of Inula Fatullayev. Fortunately, there are currently no imprisoned journalists and therefore the committee will cease its function, said Abdullayeva.